Hey everybody, it's your pal Ron Howard from Extreme Sequences, and I'm here to bring a new tutorial on a new tool in XLights 2022.14. Now, I did a review last week about uh, .14, and I sort of dismissed this interesting tool because I had no knowledge of it, and that happens to be this really cool remap custom model. And I thought, okay, I don't know what it is. Let's just get through this. I'll, I'll go figure it out. And then I was sp speaking to my good buddy, uh, Eric Meyer, and he goes, no, man, that thing's cool. And I said, really? He goes, yeah, that's cool. I said, okay, well, I need to figure this out. So uh, I woke up this morning with a mission to get in here and play with it and see just why I would use Remap Custom Model or why I would even suggest that you possibly could use remap custom model. And there may be some situations where this is a, a certainly a cool thing to do. So let's look at the lay of the land here. We have a Gilbert Engineering iFlake 24 inch 96 node flake that I imported by clicking on the little arrow here. And I went to the x Lights cloud and brought this in. So this is the original. And this has everything that works the way I want it to. Okay, and by that I mean the 96 nodes have been subdivided into various submodel groups, as we can see here. And I have a ring over here. Let's scoot this window over just a little bit. There we go. And as I arrow down, this will go through the various submodels that are placed into groups and are sequenced with to give amazing effects for one of my favorite flakes from Gilbert Engineering. Fine, great. So somebody does the same thing, but they decide they need to change the wiring. Okay, so let's just first look at this wiring. I'm curious, what might this crazy person have done? And by crazy person, I mean, this was me. I rewired it. So the other one starts up here and works its way around. This crazy person, being me, started at the bottom and sort of just weaved all over the place. I mean, there are going to be jumps in here, and this is, in my world, I would call this a hot mess. But that's okay. Maybe this is the way you need to wire this for whatever reason, and that's all right. So I'm going to get out of here. The problem is, because this has been rewired, if we look at the submodels, um, they may not be the way you would like them to be. All right, so let's look, look at ring one, and right away, I can see we've got problems. We've got things turning on all over the place that shouldn't. Uh, we'll just go down the list, ring two. Oh, wow, the spokes are all messed up. The arms are messed up. Arrows are messed up. Heck, the outline should be on the outside. It's all over the place, so that's a problem. So what would you have to normally do uh, before dot 14, you would have to go in here and double click on this potentially. Oh, you're not gonna let me double click. Why? Oh, cause I, oh, how do you have two selected? That was weird. Okay. We double click on this and we can go in here and redefine this particular shape for the sub model. Well, that could take a lot of time. So I don't think we want to do that. So I'm going to cancel out of here. We're going to look at this new tool up here. Tool, tool, tool. And I'm going to open this up and we're going to come back to it. But when I open this up, this uh, remap custom model, it gives some instructions here. Before we even do this, before you touch this tool, go to tools, go to check sequence, and verify that you do not have duplicate nodes or uh, missing nodes. Because if you have either of those, this tool is not going to work. So if you rewire the second model, make sure it has the same number of nodes, one through 96, and you haven't duplicated anything. All right, fair enough. First thing we're gonna do before we even get to the tool is we need to export the good one. We're gonna export XLite's model. It's gonna open up this dialogue saying, great, where do you want to put it? This is original wiring. Let's put it on the desktop. That sounds good to me. And then it's going to open up this other window that says, hey, would you like to include the submodel groups? Uh, yes, please. I don't want to have to recreate those. And you click OK. Then you go to your new wiring diagram, the wacky wiring, and you do the same thing. Export X Lights model. Let's put this onto the desktop called wacky wiring. Click Save. 
and it's going to open up a dialog box again. Go ahead and select all the submodel groups that pertain to that model and click OK and just save it. So on the desktop, we're going to have these two exported models with the submodel groups embedded within. Now we are ready to go to the tool. We click on the uh, remap custom model and this window opens up. There's a lot of information here to sort of <laughs> unpack, pun intended, uh, but just know this first model is the good one and the second model is the one you want to change. Now this is confusing because it says the second one here with the correct wiring layout, custom X lights model file with correct wiring layout. I don't know if I would have chosen those words, but just know the first one is the original. So we'll just say original wiring model and we'll click open. And then the second one is the funky one that you've done. And we'll click on Wacky Wiring X Model. We click Open. And pay attention to this section here, because this is telling you that uh, they're the same size model, which is good. Uh, the pixels are 96 on both. And that it is going to create 24 submodels for both. It is going to remap. 95 pixels, which means one of the pixels was correct between the two. Hmm. Or I should say matches the original to the wacky. And we click generate X model. And this puts it onto the desktop and it gives it a nice little name underscore remap under wacky wiring. Click OK. And now what we have to do is bring in that remapped one. So we'll click import right up here. We'll drag a box and we will click on the one that says wacky wiring underscore remap. That's the one that they've fixed for us. We open that and it says, would you like to add these sub models groups to all of this over here? Do you want to take these groups and make sure they're included in the original sub model groups? I would certainly say yes. And we click yes, and we're done. We'll hit save. Let's first, let's let's make sure. Let's just go in here and look at our submodels and make sure that they are indeed working. Okay, so that is ring one. That looks good. Ring two, three, four. Here's my spokes. That looks good. Arms, arrows, and outline. Okay, that's cool. Let's get out of here. Uh, let's look at the outline group this looks this is the original this looks good let's look at the spokes spokes look good here that's original they should hot mess and then here we go this looks great love it it works it works it works so let's put it to the real test how about we go over to our sequencer and let's drop in an effect at the Oh, let's go to arms group and I'm just going to put this on overlay center. Let's give us some speed. Let's just go with white so we can see this. No, 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 not you. We're not changing colors. And number of chases. Let's just. There we go. Let's get some movement going here. Do I really have to render? Oh, I, I guess I do. Fine, let's render. Okay, that was fast enough. All right, so we look at this and... Oh, I see what's going on. I've got, this is like 16 minutes. What's going on? Let's bring this down. There we go. So we have some movement. So these are doing the correct thing and you can see the messed up one here certainly is not. Uh, if I take this to the outlines group, Again, we can see this is behaving correctly. This is a hot mess. And this is with the aid of the mapping tool from x -Lights. So I think this tool is fantastic. I, I, I think there are some use cases for it where it might bail some people out of troubles. Uh, we'll see. We'll keep an eye on it. Uh, I appreciate the uh, the thought behind it and what it can do for folks when they get themselves in a pickle. Uh, but, uh, you know, if you don't want to get yourself in a pickle, uh, try to just stick with the main models and you won't have to use this tool. All right. That's all I've got for you. I hope this was helpful. Take care.